What's up guys, Skin Rampage here. So this is going to be the official video with all the London Toy Fair reveals for 2020. All Funko Pop reveals, all Funko Pop related items. There are a total of 188 releases right now as I'm making this video. Holy freaking crap, that's a lot. I believe there's a total of 144 pops coming out. And then we have the little soda figures that equate to 44 just alone. That's a lot of releases, guys, and we have a lot to go over. So let's get this video started. And if you're new here, make sure to subscribe and like this video for daily pop content and awesome videos like these, as well as follow me on Instagram, join the Discord to talk to me and fellow collectors, and join my Facebook group to buy, sell, and trade your pops. All right, guys, so I figured we'd start out with some of the cooler ones, which are the X-Men from Marvel. So we have Rogue and we have Gambit. And they also have two exclusive counterparts. So we have one rogue in a little battle pose and then we have hot topic exclusive um she's on a little stand getting ready to leap at someone i guess leaping pose really and then we have gambit down there um throwing around his magic cards and everything looking cool and then we have a glow in the dark entertainment earth exclusive but i think it's really cool that um we finally got a gambit because i know a lot of people have been waiting for him a lot of people are excited about him as well so the first time i ever saw gambit was in x-men origins wolverine and they didn't really go too deep into his backstory or who he was he just threw around cards at everywhere and I assume he's very powerful if he was, you know, knocking back Wolverine and everything. So um, I don't know too much about him, but if somebody wants to tell me more about him down below, you guys are welcome to. Still, nonetheless, I think the glow is going to look fantastic. I believe his eyes are going to glow and then the cards on him are going to glow. So I think it's going to be a really cool glow. So stay tuned on these. I think uh, Rogue looks really cool as well. Rogue is a cool character as well. I always loved her in the X-Men movies, you know touch someone you die but um also her power absorption was really cool as well so super excited about these i wish i liked the x-men more to collect them but i really only like wolverine from the x-men and professor xavier but i thought about collecting the og x-men but i don't know too much about them other than the actual movies the live action movies so if you guys want to tell me a little bit more about rogue's feats and gambit's feats let me know down below because i um i would love to know more as well as for marvel we have the black widow pops i first talked about them in my funko news video with the 10 inch all might and everything so so we have the two Walmart exclusives, and then we have the six other pops that are common. So I'm assuming there's going to be more exclusives to this line once the movie comes out. But this is just a starting base. So we have Taskmaster and Black Widow being Walmart exclusives. So stay tuned on these. And if you're excited about them, let me know down below. Next up, guys, we have a ton of new Harry Potter pops, including some 10-inch pops. So we have a Barnes & Noble's exclusive Harry Potter. We have a Funko Shop Harry Potter with... Um, with the invisibility cloak and then we have Dumbledore holding Harry which I think is kind of a cute little pop and then we have another Harry Potter um, common exclusive where he's just holding the cloak in the front I felt like that one was kind of lazy because we already got the Funko Shop exclusive one then we have Neville not really sure what he's holding in his hand does anyone know what he's holding in his hand it's like hard to make out the details of it then we have Hermione um, with a feather pin it looks like she, oh she where she's levitating the feather i think and then we have ron where he's throwing up and then we have draco malfoy down there with the creature on his face i believe that was in goblet of fire when they were doing the curses on the little insects so that's kind of cool next up guys we have he who should not be named aka Voldemort, and harry they're shooting off their wands in an epic battle against each other um i believe this one was with the goblet of fire just because of the uh, attire he has when they were in that graveyard um trying to get the goblet of fire um with um robert Pattinson oh I forget his name in that movie as well um, but still nonetheless I think this is a really cool movie moment and I think they did it really well last but not least guys for the Harry Potter releases we have 10 inch Voldemort and 10 inch Dumbledore holding Fox so that is crazy to have just a phoenix on your arm he's just like this he's a pimp got a phoenix here i think that's awesome he's holding the elder wand i honestly this is these are really really cool um voldemort has this snake around him oh man there's so many 10 inch pops released at london toy fair the holy crap there's so many then we have some keychains we have um snake with bogger or snape as bogger i think that's what that pop said um correct me if i'm wrong and then we have hermione holding a cauldron and then we have luna lovegood with her glasses next up guys we have 40th empire strikes back star wars pop so we have han solo and carbonite with darth vader being creative which is i think is going to be a deluxe pop or a movie moment pop not really sure on that yet but um it looks like the mask is slowly going on from the machine so i think that's really neat then we have i'm assuming luke skywalker i do not know what he's writing so i know nothing about star wars i just know some of the characters names we have that's definitely han solo and leia as a two-pack and then we have oof, i think that's leia too and then i think we have um luke skywalker holding yoda on his back i'm sorry if i got these wrong 
but I don't know anything about Star Wars. So let me make that very clear so nobody gets mad at me. And the last one for Star Wars is Yoda on Dagobah. So this one um, I talked about in one of my Funko News videos as well. I believe it's Yoda on Dagobah. Um, but still, I think this one's really cool as well. Shows Yoda's age with the um, white hair on the sides. And I, I think it's a really cool one. So if you guys are excited about um, Star Wars, let me know down below. Next up, guys, we have DC. So I made a dedicated video to DC because there was a lot of cool ones in the DC line releasing. So we have the 10-inch Super Size Pop Joker. Um, so I'm doing the big picture and showing you guys all at once because there's so many in this DC one We have the mr. Freeze. We have two face down there. We have Catwoman We have the Joker and the Joker chase. So the Joker chase looks really cool um, We have penguin down there and then we have the Riddler. We also have a hot topic exclusive Harley Quinn I call her lewd Harley if you guys didn't see the other video yet and an update on Deathstroke he's actually exclusive somewhere and He's going up against Red Hood in the little movie moment pop. So I think that's really cool. I would have liked it to be against Batman or maybe against Damian Wayne, but that would have been really cool. Like in the movie when they went up against each other. So I thought that was really cool. So let me know down below if you guys are excited about the DC ones. I'm definitely excited about a couple of them. Definitely that Deathstroke versus Red Hood. Next up, guys, we have Masters of the Universe, aka Motu. So there was a lot of confusion about this just because... Funko released a new line, and there's also more pops coming as well. Um, so there was confusion about the fact that Funko seemed seemingly lost the Motu license, but apparently they didn't because they have more pops coming. So I think what it was, um, was the situation where maybe they had to renegotiate the license and renegotiate money and everything like that. And maybe that's what they meant rather than they're losing the license. So it wouldn't make sense for, um, them to be losing the license if pops are still coming because then they get sued. <laughs> and here's a few more of the masters of the universe pops coming. So we have a 10 inch supersized Skeletor coming. I think that's really neat. I think he's going to look really, really cool in a 10 inch pop. So stay tuned for that. And then we have a Metallic Hot Topic exclusive coming. I'm going to call him Grunt because I don't know the names. I'm not a big Masters of the Universe fan. I've never even seen the show. I've heard the theme song, but never seen the show. So I'm not going to dive too far into these. So if you're excited about Motu, let me know down below. And next up, guys, we have some dinosaurs pop. So I'm assuming this was before my time, like a many of these other pops. We have a little dino baby holding a frying pan. We have a um, little teenage son with a Letterman jacket on holding a skateboard. We have the daughter holding a mirror because she's trying to be pretty dad and the mother holding a spatula for cooking so um i don't know who these are i've never even heard of this this definitely was before my time i'm assuming so if you're excited about these let me know next up guys we have wallace and gromit so um i've actually i've actually seen a little bit of this but it's been so long that i just know nothing about it so it's kind of funny so we have wallace i'm assuming the dog is gromit and then that's the signature sheep that's always doing something weird. So uh, these are really cool as well. So let's move on. Next up, guys, we have Nickelodeon's The Legend of Korra Pop. So similar to the new Avatar line that released a couple months ago, um, we have a limited glow chase as well of her in Avatar State, I'm assuming. And then we uh, it's a Hot Topic exclusive as well, just like the Aang chase in Avatar State. And then we also have her using all the elements, actually. So that's really neat. And then we have the Zuko knockoff and Katara knockoff. And then we have the Anbu Blackout member down there. I like to call this the knockoff avatar just because I loved avatar way more. Couldn't really get into the spinoff of Legend of Korra. Never tried to watch it. I just didn't really interest me. Um, so never checked it out. But if you guys are Legend of Korra fans, let me know down below and let me know if you're going to try to redeem yourself on not getting that Aang chase. Next up guys, we have nine new soccer pops. So if you guys are excited about soccer pops and I have some soccer or football fans, on my channel let me know down below but i don't really know anything about soccer so let's move on next up guys we have cyberpunk 2077 so this one's actually really cool um i want to actually play this game and see what it's about i don't think i've seen actually i have seen a little bit of the trailer really the deciding factor for me was the breathtaking keanu reeves he's in this game so who wouldn't buy it to be honest it kind of reminds me of deus ex mankind in a way just because of all the cybernetics and everything so um we have three no four commons uh, one where Keanu Reeves is wearing glasses and then holding pistols and then one where he's kneeling down We have the girl holding I think she's holding a blade in one hand and Then we have the guy up there on the left fighting and then we have him as a glow-in-the-dark um, GameStop exclusive so I'm assuming his cybernetics down his face are gonna glow and that's about it So it's probably gonna be a really weak glow, but if you're excited about these let me know down below I haven't read up too much on the game to know the characters yet so I'm just showcasing the pops next up guys we have more killer clowns from outer space so these ones actually look really really sadistic <laughs> they look scary they're creepier than Pennywise I will say that um, really cool I love that one's holding a balloon one's like come here little boy 
And then the other one has boxing gloves on. So this is definitely before my time. Um, I believe Captain Pops knows a little bit about this. I think he was telling me a little bit about it. But uh, these ones look really, really neat and really detailed. Like all the colors and all the hair and everything and the detailing on them are fantastic. So whoever whoever designs these and, you know, creates them does a really good job 90% of the time. Sometimes when you're when you're the one when you're the one making that lazy chase, we're all mad at you. But when you make really cool, neat pops and very detailed, then we love you. Next up, guys, we have some American Psycho Pop. So I actually never seen this movie. Um, I always see it pop by on Netflix. I believe this is the one with Christian Bale who um, portrayed the character. But still, I think the chase is kind of like, eh, compared to the movie, he has blood all over him. Um, or compared to the um, movie, like, screen when Netflix, you know, does that little trailer for you. Um, he has blood all over him. And the chase seems kind of like, eh. Kind of like, eh, but I'm sure a lot of people are still, still excited about this because we have him in common form without blood, and then it looks like someone just stabbed him in the eye or something. And he looks, he has such a dead look on his face. I think that's so funny. And then we have one in his business suit where he's holding the knife, and that's a Hot Topic exclusive. Next up, guys, we have the Craft Pops. So we have four girl characters. Um, I've actually never even heard of, actually, no, that's not true. I have heard of the Craft. I've never seen it. I think my grandma liked these, and I think my mom liked them as well. I think. I remember my mom talking about it at one point. Um, I've never seen it myself, but still, I think they're really detailed and they're really cool pops. Next up, guys, we have Fast and Furious Hobbs and Shaw pops. So I'm actually kind of excited about these. I think I might end up picking up this line. I actually really enjoyed the movie. I've enjoyed all the Fast and Furious movies. Dwayne Johnson is one of my favorite actors, as well as Jason Statham. So we have Hobbs and Shaw, obviously. We have Brixton down in the right corner, and then we have... Hate Hadi. I've never, I, I don't remember how to say her name, but Hadi or Haiti. Um, but still, nonetheless, she's holding the gun down there. Brixton's getting ready to cock his gun like he's going to work. We have Jason Statham holding the gun. And then we have Dwayne Johnson holding the big gun, which is kind of funny though, because um, Hobbs actually looks like Batista in this pop, which is kind of funny. Um, he looks a little constipated too. Love you, Dwayne, but you look a little weird in pop form. I'm not going to lie. Still though, I think there's a really neat um, line and there wasn't really too much they could do with Hobbs and Shaw just because they're pretty generic characters in the movie as well. Um, not to not downplaying them or anything, but there's not much you can do with them other than put them in their gear that they're in. So still, I think this is a really cool line to come out and it was released a while back, but we we're just now getting clam shots. Next up guys, we have SpongeBob SquarePants, the movie. So this one's the new one, uh, SpongeBob or Sponge on the run, excuse me. Uh, so we have SpongeBob, we have Patrick and we have Squidward. So I guess this is when they were kids, I think. Think? I don't know. I'm kind of confused um, why this movie's even being made. Do we really need more SpongeBob movies or anything SpongeBob? I just, I don't know. I feel like SpongeBob's overdone. Like, I enjoyed it as a child, but um, now it's just kind of like, eh, I feel like it's just being over, overdone and it's oversaturated, in my opinion. I like that Patrick's holding the uh, jellyfishing net and then Squidward's holding his clarinet down there. Uh, SpongeBob's holding a paddle, and then he has Gary, cute little Gary on top of him. So I think it's going to be a really cool line. I think some people are going to be excited about it. So let me know down below if you are. Next up, guys, we have the full line of Onward here. So um, I saw the trailer, but I don't remember any of the names. So um, I'm just going to focus on the fact that there's a Hot Topic exclusive and Amazon exclusive. And then we have the dad up there, which kind of looks funny. The dad was kind of funny in the trailer where they only got half his body back. So we have the chase which is really, really, really lazy, was not expecting this, but we have the purple horn, and then the chase being the blue sparkly horn, which is, oh, Lord, so unbelievably lazy. But nonetheless, like most people say, we don't have to buy it. So if you don't want it, don't buy it. Next up, guys, we have the great mouse detective. So we have Sherlock Mouse, I think. And then we have his understudy, and we have the King Mouse, I'm assuming. Uh, I've never seen this, so I'm just taking guesses and jabs at what they might be. Uh, still, I think it's really cool, um, you know, mouses as detectives. So it's, <laughs> it's, a, it's a funny concept in itself. But uh, let me know down below if I know if I have any fans of this. And another one before my time is The Adventures of the Gummy Bear. So a lot of Disney Pops released this year. Um, so we have five new ones. So we have two on in action poses. Um, I'm assuming one's being Peter Pan down there in the right corner, and then, yeah, I don't really know about these guys, so it's kind of funny that they're gummy bears, but they don't really look like gummies. Uh, is that is that the joke there? I don't really know. Let me know down below if you guys know who these guys are. And for my Star Trek Discovery fans, we have two new pops. Um, they're really detailed, especially that guy's face. Holy crap, he looks... He looks really terrifying. I love the, like, deep ocean blue eyes. And then we have the, uh, the I don't know. I, I guess that's just his skin, but it looks really gross. 
in my opinion, but Star Trek Discovery Pops coming soon, guys. Next up, guys, we have Murder, She Wrote, so I don't know anything about this movie either, but if I have some fans of it, stay tuned. Next up, guys, another one before my time. I'm just gonna keep saying that because so many of these are before my time or I don't know about them. Um, we have Creep Show Pops, so a lot of people are actually excited about these. I, I mean, I haven't seen it, so I guess I don't get the hype around it, but we have three new, like, monsters or creepy monsters, whatever you want to call them. One popping out of a box, um, one that is like kind of like a ghoul type, and then we have a scarecrow type, which actually looks really, he looks like a muddy scarecrow. I don't know, he's kind of creepy, but stay tuned for these, they're coming soon. Honestly, at this point, I wish they would release more than I knew so I could talk about it more, but we have Fantasy Island Pops coming, so uh, I've never seen this or even heard of this. So it looks like only two characters coming in this line. If they If it does well, I suppose, they'll do more but I don't know if there's any more characters to do, but stay tuned. We also have some new Funkoverse games coming. So we have two Jurassic Park ones coming, we have the Golden Girls coming, and we have a Gretzko um, coming as well. And for music, guys, we have James Brown, we have Aerosmith, we have Weezer, and then we have Salt and Pepper. Salt and Pepper, Salt and Pepper, Salt and Pepper, Salt and Pepper, Salt and Pepper. I don't know, it's just funny to say, but here's some music pops. And some more music pops, guys, following is Lil Wayne, we have Ghost up there, Hot Topic exclusive, we have Willie Nelson, that's actually a really neat one, and then we have Motorhead down in the bottom right Corner. Next up, guys, we have Slipknot, we have Slayer, we have ZZ Top, and then we have Shania, and I believe I pronounced her name right. But correct me down below if I got it wrong. Next up, guys, looks like we have some Funko Soda collectibles. Oh, geez, let's let's get right into this one. First up, guys, we have Count Chocula and Frankenberry, so they also have Chase variants. So it looks like the figures are going to be inside, and then these are all limited piece counts. So these two are 7,500 piece count ones, so um, the Count Chocula one having a blue Chase variant, which is kind of funny, kind of like Boo Berry, and then the Frankenberry one having a brown variant, kind of like Count Chocula. It's kind of funny how they did that. So I don't think there is a Booberry one that I've seen in the releases so far. So that's interesting that they only did two. Next up, guys, we have Crusader Rabbit here, and he also has a chase. So they seem to all have chase variants. Um, this one is limited to 5,000 pieces, and the common is a silver variant, and then the chase variant is a black variant. As well as we have Batfink here, he's limited to 5,000 pieces as well. He has a yellow and red and black caped variant, and then we have a black and white chase for it. So some more DC ones, we have Batman here with a gold chase variant, and he's limited to 10,000 pieces. What? It sounds so funny when you say limited and then you follow it up with 10,000. Then we have Robin in his original suit um, with a gold chase variant as well. Then we have Wonder Woman in her classic suit as well. And she has a black and red chase variant. Next up, guys, we have Green Hornet. So he has a black and uh, green variant for the chase. And then we have Kato down there, which has the gray suit for the chase. As well as we have Masters of the Universe. So we have He-Man with his normal attire. And then we have a green kind of like Hulkish chase variant. As well as Skeletor with the normal variant and then Skeletor. Tour, I guess with more armor on and a black cloth at the bottom with some green on his head for the chase. So He-Man is limited to, woo, that looks like 30,000, no, 10,000, 10,000, my bad, 10,000, like 30,000, that's not even limited at that point. And then Skeletor is, I believe, 10,000 as well. So here we have some Thundercats, guys, and it looks like lion -O has a glow chase. So this is the first glow chase we've seen for the soda little figure, so that's kind of cool. And then we have Mumra. Um, I believe that's how you say that with the normal attire and then just the same, just a black helmet and then the silver and red on the bottom. Next up, guys, we have some Hanna-Barbera. So we have Huckleberry Hound, blue for the normal, red for the chase. And then we have Jabberjaw, light blue for the normal, dark blue for the chase. And then we have oh, Peter Potmus. We have him in his normal attire and then him, metallic. So this is the first metallic chase in this line as well. We have some more Hanna-Barbera. So we have some Flintstone. So we have Fred Flintstone in his original orange and blue um, tie. And then we have him with a gray beard and then blue and red. So it's kind of like, it's kind of like Earth 2 version. And then we have Barney Rubble from the Flintstones in his normal attire. And then he has the gray beard, blue hair, and the purple suit. Then we have another Peter Potmus and we have two different variants as well. Um, the chase being the green and then the orange hat. All right, guys, so it looks like we had a lot of soda ones. So, like, I'm curious. What do you guys think about these soda uh, little figures? Are you guys going to try to collect them, try to go for them? Do you guys like any of them? Let me know down below because they're definitely interesting, but I don't really see any that I want unless they come out with some anime ones. I don't know. That gold Batman's kind of neat, um, but he's not too heavily limited, so he'd be easier to get. 
All right, guys, so we went over a lot of releases. So I would say my favorite would be Deathstroke versus Red Hood. Um, I really wish it was against Damian Wayne or, you know, Batman. That would have been really neat. But I'd say it's really only 10-inch Joker and Deathstroke that caught my eye. Looks like we didn't get any anime yet. I don't know if there's still more releases. There could be, there could not be. We still have New York Toy Fair. I'm assuming they're definitely going to release anime over there. So I'm hoping for that. Shout out to my Patreon, Captain Pop. Awesome dude. Make sure to go check out his channel. And if you want to become a Patreon, the link is down below. Support the channel more. But anyways, I love you guys. I'll see you guys in the next video. See you guys later. Bye.